Hello and welcome to this video about a um, TIAC VRDS20. There was a video about a VRDS10 before, but this, uh, although it's in many ways a very similar unit, it's also very different. Um, similar is in in what's inside um, it is a typical VRDS unit uh, with but, but with um, thick metal disc driving um, a CD and also with with a heavy diecast bridge KSS 151 uh, mechanism from Sony that's all standard um, that's also standard TIAC servo board but I found this on the bottom of Vadia 16. It was sort of sitting in a lower part there, and on top was the Vadia uh, DAC board. Um, and this is an audio board, which is very similar to what's in uh, VRDS 10. Sadly, um, this unit has balanced out, but sadly they're just done on op amps, so there's nothing spectacular there. I tried it in here in a balanced mode, but there, there just there was no magic, no particular magic. And uh, nice touch you have, uh, you can put the zero volts there, you can sort of uh, set the output as well. Um, on ICs and some capacitors, this foil to stop them from radiating. Um, Sony had done that in some units. You see some some chips spot that as well. As far as output is concerned, it's not that um, great. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not as good as uh, say uh, some esoteric transports from the same manufacturer. Not as good as Sony's outputs. Oh, much better than CEC or Philips or Marantz for that matter. Um, so having said all that, this is this is a, a palatial <laughs> product, and uh, the stuff that's been done here in jewelry is just unbelievable. Uh, as you can see, those. Uh, Corners uh, are all nice brushed aluminium, and this is the top of uh, uh, these are tops, uh, those uh, sort of discs which I have here. And just look, uh, other than that, the, the grommets are nicely milled, not like plastic in some Sony top units. Screws are, are you know, very elegant. Everything here, and, and these are, well, some of those are external, but even internal screws, you can see, they're all very nice. Normally, I, I will take those feet away, I just, for test, I put them on. And to show you what's, um, what's happening, on top of that unit, to close it up, we have this uh, copper-plated bit. Then goes a sheet of rubber. Then goes the uh, no. Then goes another another <laughs> copper plated sheet. And um, there is the rest of the cover. <laughs> so I've never seen uh, you know triple skinned player. You know, it, it's uh, and, and all is is done very nicely. Um, this was uh, a job of um, 110 to 240 conversion, which in this unit is very easy. It's just a link. I mean, easy technically, not easy to actually do because it takes two and a half hours to get to it. You know, and then you have to. There is a power button there. To, to, in order to flip the power board upside down, uh, then you have to disassemble the back and front. And, and anyway, I've, I've, uh, I've replaced a couple of belts and clean micro switches. This is the tray driving belt. They are very sort of gooey and stretchy. And that one is a bit better. That one is a bit better. This brings up the turntable up to the VRDS plate. 
but you know it would have filed and, and it, it takes so much time to, to disassemble it that I, I decided to do it all in one hit um, so uh, a bit of service I clean micro switches as I always do at the same time so uh, the owner didn't complain really about um, the way it, it, it worked, but the first time I turned it on, it made, made awful noises. So I decided to do this service um, and replace those belts. Uh, just a couple of tones so he can uh, rest assured that it's all going good. So we have a track number 8, and it does it well, and track 15. The mechanism, and that goes as well good. The mechanism. <laughs> The mechanism is a bit noisy, and I suppose a bit of a servo tuning could help it, but since it's been working like that, and it's probably factory setting, you know, why play with something that is that is not broken, you know, and, and, and nobody told me to, to, to further improve it, so... Um, the industrial buttons sort of spoil the... Uh, the look of it, but you know that's that's their style. This is what they've built on. I originally thought that this was the um, esoteric uh, 10 or 50 with with uh, Vadia DSP. That's why I was so excited. But this is just a straight VR DS20. Okay, well, thank you very much, and till the next one. Bye bye.